Hi everyone, Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle, and this video is for AbundanceNine.com, which is marketing success secrets for impact and profit. So this video will be about how to talk to people when you're meeting them for the first time. Meaning, what kind of people? How to talk to prospects or leads. How to talk to someone that you believe is in your target market. So, yes, there are certain things to say. And my focus, I've made another video. And yes, there may be certain things to say verbally, right? To touch upon in the conversation between you and whoever you're talking to, who's interested in whatever it is that you're selling. However, in this video, what I'd like to focus on is the energetic aspect. Yes, Bear and I have been guilty of this. And yes, we have been green in many aspects. And yes, we do learn from our lessons and grow. So even though you may think, oh, well, I hit all these bullet points. I did this, this, and this. Why is it still not feeling right? What's off? Well, when you are with your mentor that is already successful, there are certain nuances that you just have to see and feel in person. And it's not just about reading off a script or memorizing a certain procedure or script. So what am I talking about? Okay, just quickly. When you want to introduce, promote, when you want to introduce something to someone and you're just meeting them for the first time. Of course, you want to get to know them, see if they would be even interested. Or just get to know people for the sake of networking because the larger you make your network, the better it is for you and that person. Granted, you know how to network effectively. Let's say this person that you're speaking with May or, may, may or may not be interested in whatever product or sample you are providing or promoting, whether it's free or at, at a nominal amount. The point is, listen to them. Don't talk at them. People can hear you. Have this energy of being receptive. Genuinely want to know. I've, I've had this mistake of going through the bullet points and you know, being kind of tense and worried and, oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing, kind of anxious that, oh, maybe this is my first time or times. And when you actually hold this space or container of being receptive and supporting the person. So the first energetic characteristic is being receptive, genuinely wanting to and listening. The second characteristic is supporting them, genuinely wanting to help and uplift them instead of just, hey, I'm trying to sell you my product or, hey, I'm just trying to ram this information down your throat or, hey, I'm just trying to get you to sign up, uh, give me your email or take your credit card. Do you see what I mean? So try this out. Yeah, I made other videos um, called, what is it? What was it? Vibration Trumps Action. So, yes, certain bullet points, strategies, procedures are necessary. At the same time, the energy. So, when you are just going through the motions, people can feel that. I've done that. Maybe you've done that. I've had it done to me. It feels icky. It feels slimy. Well, so we forgive. Forgive ourselves for doing that. Forgive the other people for doing that to us. Next. It's clear. It's time to move on and do it better and better the more you go along. Okay? So what are, again, what are the two, you can get a pen and paper and write this down. What are the two energetic characteristics that I just mentioned here for when you want to promote or introduce um, something to someone who may be of interest in what you are introducing. One, 
be genuinely receptive, genuinely wanting to listen. Two, support them and uplift them. You can do that verbally and it'll be fake if you're just going through the motions and doing it verbally and doing the actions. So put it together, the actual physical, literal things that you're doing and energetically. And how do you prepare for that? How do you do that? Well, you have to mentally and emotionally plan it if you're not used to this yet. And if you can't get yourself in that emotional space, then you better look at it, clear it, heal it. Figure out how you can get yourself to that space. And if you can't give that to other people, then it's time that you need to listen to yourself. Get, what it means is you need to give that to yourself. If you don't have the give to give to other people, that means it's time to fill your cup. I'm going to leave you with that. This is Rainbow Heart Freedom Eagle signing out. You can sign up for our email newsletter at Abundance9.com. That is Abundance, the noun, A-B as in boy, U-N as in Nancy, D-A-N-C-E, like dance, Abundance9, N-I-N-E, like the number, dot com. And we may even have our mobile app on the website um, by that time that you you watch this video whether it is or not at least you can sign up for the email newsletter and or the mobile app when it's available all right you can ask questions like up subscribe let us know your feedback other strategies we'd love to hear from you bear and myself take care friends healing it is all that is